you feeling during that time? You're a father, man. You've got children and a wife. And what, what was going through your mind and heart a couple of weeks ago? Well, I'll be honest with you. I had to fight, you know, feelings of, uh, yeah, never going home. And, uh, you know, I, I put my trust in the Lord. I'm not trying to act like a superhero of faith right now. I had honest to goodness concerns and fears that were trying to hit me and but you know i just i just I, I put myself in the arms of the lord and said i'm here in life and death lord i believe i'm going to live but i said i'm here for the gospel i'm here to pay any price that it would take to get this message to the middle east and uh yeah i'm just being honest i'm yeah. not talking i'm just being honest you said i'm a father yeah. i wanted to see my kids again i wanted yeah. to put my hand in my and my boys' hair, and rub their heads, and kiss their foreheads. Yeah. And uh, and then I'll be honest. A couple of weeks ago, it was pretty hairy right out the street here. I don't know if you're catching me right now, but yeah, I can see. I'm walking out to the street right here. This is the street behind me. Um, in about a, a little over a mile from here, the direction I'm facing. Yeah. What's where? most intense fighting was can you kind of see the yeah the streets here there's a mosque see the green lights yes sir you see the green lights that's a mosque okay usually when you see lights it's a mosque and it wakes you up uh, in the three in the morning every morning they yeah, want you to get up and try to dead god <laughs> yeah so when you but, think uh, of the hope of the future of egypt or so, well syria obviously what's going on in syria right now what, what do you think the hope of the future is i see uh, you know I, it sounds radical but i see i see a major revival in the middle east starting right here mm. and uh you know i was just preaching to the students today about you know you know you know your eagles you know it's time to fly it's time to lead it's time to go out and start you know start works it's time to get out there and win souls make disciples yourself you've been in training now it's time for you to get out there so we are taking uh out of this group of graduate fourth year graduates a group to begin to train them on how to actually plant new explorations bible college campuses throughout egypt in the middle east hmm. what is but the- I, I really foresee a revival i see a revival i do i see it all over the middle east i see it i say this and i give all the glory to god pastor darren i say it i give the glory to god we have what could be, I'll say it that way, the largest Bible college in the Middle East right now. I'm not going to say it is the largest, but I say what could be. I don't know of any that that have I don't that have 500 students right now. But but I make this I make this from my heart. This comes from my heart. But we're only touching the tip of the iceberg. This is just the beginning. I said this can turn into 2,500. This could turn into five. This could turn into 25,000 students in the Middle East. My director sits right here. He's wore out. He's just he's a piece of toast right now. He's just so wore out. But my director sitting right in front of me right now. This man can direct an army, Hmm. and troops are ready to march. I feel like God wants us to have 25,000 students, 50,000, 100,000. I feel like the day is, is upon us when, when China could have, we could have a million students in China. We could have a million students in India. This is what I see. These are the people, people think I'm crazy. But I see it. People think I'm crazy. Yeah. Who's this crazy guy on TV who thinks they can do this kind of stuff? Darren, Pastor Darren, I I believe that we can have a million students in India or China. I, I I see these things going past places that have never benchmarks, things that have never been done. History, history. It's time to change history. It's time to make history. It's time. I see it. I believe it. It's time for us to walk in it. It's short. Time is short. Yeah. Time is it's upon us. Jesus is at the door. Jesus is coming. Why can't we have a million people being discipled who are trained to win souls and go plant churches and Bible colleges and go out and see tens of millions saved in the last days? I believe these things. Just thanks for the prayers for all, all those at your church that really want to pray. It is, a, it, is a, it is a time of history changing, I believe. It's a time where the tables are turning. It's a time where 
you know, if, if we take certain action, it's like the pebble in the pond. There's going to be a ripple effect across the whole pond. And uh, it's just, it's time. History is waiting on us to make a move. And we're making, we're making some moves out here by the grace of God.